Good afternoon, I'm Tiro, and let's keep playing FFL3. And into Ashra's tower for the third time. Use key. And here we are. Again with the bloody decor. And more jumping puzzles. If this hurts your eyes too bad, it's supposed to. We're dealing with a infernal demon monster. And we shall run away as usual. Now where were all those cyborg robots when I needed you? That's the thing about monsters, or I should say non-human characters. Is that there's no shame of There's no shame of actually eating a meat or installing a part to change, but the thing is unless you do, you're still gonna remain that weak little monster. So sometimes it just takes forever looking for it. And not montage worthy though. Let's see, and hop. Uh, again, run away! And why is Starfish doing in a tower? And yes, we have the giant checker puzzle. Hop, hop. King me! No. And hop again. Receive T Trinitrotology. And I have to fall down because those dastardly programmers make me. And run away! We don't like kabuki actors. Or rodent robots. Jump. Jump. Double jump. And that was pointless. There we go. And notice that we have jumping puzzles uh, several years in advance to Mario RPG. Ah, and here we have the fireball monster and what I call the smoocher, which I will talk about ever so slightly. Actually, I'll just run away, but get a look at the picture. The Smitcher Cyborgs are actually a uh, sprite edit because in the original, and I know I can't run away from you guys, in the original game they are actually nurse cyborgs and they are very nasty and dastardly because they had giant syringes, which it seems to be too scary for the kitties. You can kind of see the remnants of the sprite because the uh, busybody has high heels and a kind of a skirt. But they change it into a smoocher because that's a bit less intimidating. And that cyborg is actually useful to have because it has a skill called Remedy, which heals your uh, 50 hit points. So, basically any time outside of battle you are able to heal yourself up for free. Isn't that awesome? Yes. So basically you have full hit points, you know, when you're in a safe area like this. And you can really exploit the inn. And stupid bodyguards. Run away! Hey, haven't we met before? Oh well. Return the units, Ashra, or else. The units were already moved to Chaos's castle. I'll give you something else. And that something else is a fight. Yeah, it's a very long fight, which I'm somewhat thinking about uh, using time travel to avoid, a la Bill and Ted. Or maybe reverse Bill and Ted. Instead of preparing things so that they just magically appear, um, we'll just skip this. But not really a skip. We'll go through it, just fast forward. Or maybe an actual time warp. And you take a step to the left. No, we are not going to go that route. Route? Oh, I can never know these times. Wait. Who did I heal? Oh, I just need to cure you as well. Da -da -da -da. Of course, I haven't decided to actually do a time travel for because I can't get the right special effects. How could you do anything without special effects? Ideally, I want a wavy little screen wipe or whatever you call it. So that... Oh, I can use magic. No, better heal up. So that it looks like the wavy time warp in this game, and then also the scene changes from the see, prequel. But I've yet to find one decently in After Effects Virtual Dub or even Windows Media Maker. Uh, oh well, you can't have everything all the time, I think. Or something to that effect. In any case, I'm still gonna talk about the boss and hope that we don't actually go through uh, 11 minutes. Ah, there we go, the razor weapon, which Sharon is using, and it looks nothing like a razor blade, but actually like a paper fan, typical of Japanese culture. 
And the reason being is that it actually is a paper fan of Japanese culture, the kind that you... And there goes Gloria again for the second time. Or the third time. Anyways, you can never know what actually happens with all this time travel business. And then you add the deja vu of, uh... Oh, you know, save points. Ah, good preemptive cure. But yes, Sharon's Razor Whip is actually called the Blackjack in the original game. And for those that don't know, a Blackjack is a small club that you use to hit people with. Uh, kind of like Pepper Spray or Mace. Very useful, just that it's not a term commonly used these days. And basically, a really good Blackjack, if you want one, for the ladies who are watching this LP, is a small... Oh is a small flashlight, iron type, that takes C batteries. It's about, uh, you know, about 8 inches long. You know, fits in your purse. Some guy comes up to you, just say, let me guess something, whack, whack, and down he goes. Of course, you gotta somewhat, you know, wait till his body's turned, and you gotta aim for the head. Yeah, it's so sad that I know maybe about 5 ways, not 5, 4 ways to kill someone, and maybe 2 ways to incapacitate them. And I have no actual interest in uh, self-defense. Eh, what a world we live in. What a world, what a world. Da, da, da. And so anyway, I'm just gonna beat Ashra with a paper pan until he comes to his senses. Or would that be kind of lose his senses? Wait a minute, that's Earthbound. We're playing Saga. And you aren't so intimidating now. You lost a pair of arms, and you gained a pair of legs. And thank god you actually have a loincloth. Ugh, don't want to think about what's, you know. Three heads, three arms. Uh, and there's a potential for three faces, but mm, I don't want to think about that. Wait, I'm, I'm done with Kimo 4 and the, all the innuendo. Skill. Yeah, let's try to riddle you. I think confusion actually is implemented properly in this game. But naturally, Ashura is going to be immune to it. Ah, uh, Ninchaku. And I've been doing a lot of blabbing. Would this be a good thing or a bad thing? I've been really ruminating about doing a tutorial of how to have proper LPs of a non-humorous, non-action-oriented style. Because it's fully capable, it's just a lot more difficult. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, time transform would be very useful. For me personally, not for the you the viewer, because you won't experience it. Yay! And we all level up. And we found beast warrior meat. Eat it. Come on, eat it. Oh well. Received key of chaos. That's it. Yeah, we came here for the key for another palace. So yeah, fetch quest to the max. And I will call this a video. So until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya!